Today we're going to be taking a look at the EcoFlow Delta Max. Not only am I going to be unboxing this product, we're going to be setting it up, installing it, and in addition to that, we're going to be hooking up a modern kitchen refrigerator and deep freezer along with a 200 watt portable solar panel just to see what kind of input and output we get. The unboxing process, there was absolutely no issues. Everything was very professionally packed. There was an extraordinary attention to detail. In fact, you could take a look at the foam right here. This is just very high quality, and everything is tight and neatly packed. Upon removing the foam, you could see the EcoFlow Delta Max below it, along with an accessory box. And even though this unit is on the heavier side, it's not lithium iron phosphate, so it's a good portable power station that packs a serious punch. Looks like we have the MC4 cables, cigarette lighter adapter to XT6 I believe it is, the AC adapter or AC cable, charging cable, and it looks like an adapter here along with the user manual. Oh, and I forgot to mention DIY instructions for the non-MC4 connector solar panels. Look at this. This thing is humming right now. It's at like 1600 watts of input. So I'm going to get my uh, EcoFlow app installed on my phone. I'm going to show you that. Get everything registered and I need to get this input down to like three to 500 watts because uh, I just, I don't need it to charge that fast. All right, so here we are. We're at the select the model screen. And mine is the Delta Max. I'm going to go ahead and select the Delta Max. Okay. Press and hold the IoT reset button. Going to go ahead and do that. Next. Okay, so it says find this unit in your network settings. And then it brings you to internet setup here, and then I'll just put in my information. Alright, so I got this thing on the table so we can take a better look at it. And it just dawned on me that there's a switch on the back of this thing, so that it doesn't charge as fast. Flip that. Yeah, see look, it looks like the wattage is going down now since I flipped that switch. So, I think the lowest is like 200 watts. And just to take a quick look at the app here. I got it set up and it was running at 1600 watts input and it's already at 21%. This is a gigantic battery. I mean it's not as big as the Pro model, but this is 2000 watt hours. I'm going to show you all the hookups that I have, the electrical hookups. It's very simple and it's easy to do and I have the wiring all ran down to the basement so that uh, the both the freezer chest and the refrigerator go back to this unit so when the power blips or if it goes out this just kicks on automatically and this is going to be a nice little solar setup so there's a couple things I know I want to configure right off the bat it's going to be I think the unit timeout but especially the AC timeout right now it's set for 12 hours I want it to go on never because think about it this way if you have your refrigerator and deep freezer plugged into this you do not want it shutting off and uh, the unit timeout I want to say that's going to have to be never as well. And the last thing I want to do is update the firmware on this. It shows you that there's an update available. You just go ahead and just click the update, confirm. And it's going to go through that progression. And there we go. Firmware is up to date. So this is my basement window. You can kind of see right here. That's where I drilled the hole and I placed the grommet in there. And if you look out the window, you'll see the all-power solar panel right there. So it's kind of a simplistic setup. So to the right, you can actually see the freezer chest. This is actually going full bore right now because I actually just got done cleaning the inside of it. And I have this uh, quad outlet here that goes to its own circuit on the circuit panel. And this is primarily for the EcoFlow Delta Max. So this yellow cable right here 
actually goes all the way up into the kitchen. I had an electrician install an outlet behind the refrigerator that terminates down here to the EcoFlow Delta Max and I have it plugged into the back. So now I have both the refrigerator and the freezer plugged into the Delta Max. And right now with the all powers solar panel, you can see here we're getting about 138 watts coming in and between the freezer and refrigerator we're, uh, we're getting about 160 watts out and under normal circumstances the freezer and refrigerator they're not going to be running all the time so this is very cool to me because I plan on getting another all powers solar panel to run these in series so I can double the input and uh, we could probably keep this battery topped off for getting two of these panels so right here you can kind of see the uh, Delta Max app right here the EcoFlow app there's about 127 watts coming in and right now the refrigerator kicked back on along in addition to the freezer so we're getting about an output of 155 watts so if I get another one of these all powers solar panels and run them in series that's probably going to put me up around 260 to 270 watts of input and that's going to be about 100 watts over the consumption of both the fridge and freezer so I could probably run this assuming climate is good for a very long time.